Hey guys, this is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com where you learn to code smarter. In the notes below, the problem, who's the bigger guy is there, so take a shot at it. The solution uh, is also there, but we're gonna walk through the solution right now, so let's get to it. I'm sorry, the biggest guy, who's the biggest guy, okay? So essentially, if you read the problem, it says write a function, biggest guy, that takes in three numbers as input and returns the biggest one. So I take three numbers and I find whoever's the biggest and then I return it, okay? So this one gets more challenging and if you've tried it on your own, you'll notice there are a lot of if else statements that you're doing. Also on line eight, I have a bonus challenge for you guys. It's a write a one line solution, okay? What I mean by that is like two lines, right? Because you have to have one line to define the function, obviously, and then you have to have one line for the solution. So that's what I mean by one line, okay? Now, it's medium to hard difficulty because you guys haven't done anything like this before. So it'll be challenging if you wanna do the bonus challenge, and I'll, sh I'll go over that as well. First, I'm gonna go through it the normal way. So let's define a function called the biggest guy that takes in two, three numbers, A, B, and C, okay? Or we can call it num1, num2, and num3, okay? Now, the approach that I wanna take against this is I wanna find who's the bigger guy between num1 and num2, okay? So find bigger guy between num1 and num2. Then after finding the bigger guy, compare, um, after finding the bigger guy, I wanna find bigger guy between, I'm sorry, or let's just say biggest guy, right? Between big guy, bigger guy, whoops, and num three, okay? That's kind of the approach I wanna take. I wanna find who's bigger between num1 and num2, and then once I find these guys, right, I'll find like the bigger guy kind of, whoops, bigger guy, then I wanna check the bigger guy against num3 and then see who's the biggest, okay? So with that pseudocode slash English written formula, let's go ahead and try to code this up. So if num1, is greater than num2, then bigger guy is equal to num1, right? Else, bigger guy is equal to num2, okay? And once, I, so now I have found the bigger guy. Now I just have to compare the bigger guy with num3, okay? So if bigger guy, is greater than num3, then biggest guy is equal to bigger guy. Else, biggest guy is equal to num3. Return num3, okay? I haven't tested this function yet. Hopefully it's right. Let's, uh, <clears throat> let's comment out line 44 which tests our function, right? We wanna run this function because these are the tests I've written for you guys and it allows you to test your functions. And if we give it one, three, two, it should return three. If we give it 30, 10, 20, it should return 30. If we give it in any order, it should return 30. If we give it strings, it should also know what to do. Don't worry about that. You don't have to do anything extra. That's just a trick you guys. Python knows how to compare strings, okay? So let's take this bad boy out for a run. We got an assertion error on line 44. What's the error? Did we like not write this correctly? What's going on? Test biggest, it should be called guy. I don't know why I have by guy. But what's the assertion error? Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Yep, return biggest guy, duh. Okay, boom, there you go. Success, your code is correct, okay? So it says I'm running tests, and then it says, good job, your code is correct. All right, 
Uh, that's it for this one. Now let's try to change this and code it up in a better way. Okay, let's code it up in kind of like a one line solution. So the one line solution, I'm okay, I'm kind of cheating. It's not really a one line solution. What it is, is um, it wants you to kind of use your previously written solution. Okay. So you can say define bigger guy of num one and num two. And you can say if num one is greater than num two, return num one, else return num two. Okay. So remember, this was the function you wrote for bigger guy. Um, so now let's use that function to do this problem. Here, here's, here's the nice solution. So I can say return bigger guy num one comma num two. And I want to actually call my function here again, bigger guy of num one comma num two, and then compare that against num three. So if I run it, it again says success, your code is correct. Now, how does this work? Well, I want you to pause the video and try to think of your think of it yourself how it works. But now I'm going to go over how it actually works. Okay, so this is a really nice problem here. It is allowing you to use functions within functions. Okay. Well, I have this guy here, right? So what can I do with this when I pass it like one, let's say I have one, three, two here, right? Those are the inputs I pass it in, as you can see on line 32, one, three, two. So what does this do? It calls a bigger guy function with one and three. Using the bigger guy function, it finds the max of one and three. So this whole thing evaluates to a three. Then it it tries to find the bigger guy between three and num three. Num three is two. So then we just go back to this function and find the bigger guy between three and two. And then this function will return three and that's your solution. Notice this is the key here, the notes, right? Find bigger guy between num and num one and num two, and then find the biggest guy between bigger guy and num three. Okay. So <clears throat> let me go back and put it like this. These notes will be here for you guys. When you guys are viewing the video, this is the solution. Okay. And that's it. We're getting closer to starting to now work on projects. So like the Twilio API project where we will be kind of coding up some stuff and you can actually make a text messaging app through that. And then we will also be getting to do some, uh, make some games like rock, paper and scissors. Okay. So a lot, all these functions are very important for you to learn. So then you can actually use these things when you're writing your own, um, uh, you're writing your own code, you know how to think in the correct way. One thing I want to reveal to you guys is Python has a built in function called max that kind of does this and finds the biggest number. All right. So you can actually just say max of, uh, you know, num one, num two, num three, and I can prove to you it works as if I return, look, it says, if I run it, which I'm clicking it right now and running it, it just says success, your code is correct. So max is a built in function that finds the maximum between, you know, any numbers you give it. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right now. I'll see you guys in the next video.